Cinema Lens Shootout. Biggest question on everyone's mind is why would you want to shoot on vintage lenses? When I say vintage, we're talking about lenses that are decades old, sometimes lenses that are like 40, 50 plus years old. We have three sets here today, Super Baltars, Koa Anamorphics, and uh, Zeiss, Super, uh, Zeiss Super Speeds. In today's day and age, when everyone's kind of shooting on the same two or three cameras, using a vintage set of glass is a really good way to kind of distinguish your look uh, as a DP or an operator. Sometimes you want something um, to give your, give your images a little bit more character, a little bit more subtlety, something a little bit different than what modern glass looks like. So vintage glass is a great way to do that. It's not a perfect image. Your image is going to have more chromatic aberration, uh, different style of flares, potentially more breathing, sometimes a little bit more softness, more vignetting. But sometimes that can be interesting and can be cool and can actually help you tell your story. Uh, so again, like I said, we have, we have three sets. We have a set of Zeiss Super Speeds. Uh, we have one set of Anamorphics. Uh, these are Koa uh, Anamorphics. These have been rehoused recently. And then we have uh, Bausch & Lohm Super Baltars. Yes, Bausch & Lohm, the same company that makes your contact lenses. They used to make lenses, uh, Super Baltars. These were designed in the late 1950s. Let's start with the most widespread and the most uh, widely, uh, widely known anyway. These are the, the Zeiss uh, Super Speeds. Super speeds because they're really, really fast, super fast. 1.3 is the, uh, the f-stop across all the lenses in the set. It's a set of five. Uh, these are the Mark III super speeds. There's also Mark IIs and Mark Ones or earlier versions that are also out there in the wild. The Mark Threes are probably the best and they're the most widely available, I think. The optics are similar between the Mark IIs and the Mark Threes. However, the housings are not. The housings are much better quality. You have longer rotations in your focus markings and, and uh, more witness marks, I believe, as well as uh, uniform distances and front diameters across all of the lenses. Um, super speeds are really, really interesting lenses. Besides being really fast, they have a nice, uh, a nice softness, a creaminess to the look. Uh, very, very popular. Moving on down the line, uh, Koa Anamorphics. Koa is a Japanese company. Um, they used to make uh, lots, of, lots of different types of lenses, including these anamorphics. Um, this is the only anamorphic set that we have that's a vintage set. And so if you like an anamorphic look, but you want something that has the anamorphic style flair, but a little bit of a more lower contrast, vintagey feel, these are a really great option. This is a set of four lenses, uh, a 40, uh, 50, 75, and 100. And we also have a new 30 mil uh, wide angle adapter uh, that will go on to the end of the 40 mil, giving you basically five focal lengths across the full set. And the kind of the cool thing about with the adapter is that because it's a spherical adapter put on the end of an anamorphic lens. So when you do that, your flares that become extra interesting because there's more pieces of glass for the light to kind of bounce around in and off of. And so your flares kind of have like an extra bit of dimensionality to them. So those are the Koas. And then lastly, over here, we have uh, the Bausch & Lohm Super Baltars. This is a set of six, uh, so you get an extra focal length of the Super Baltars as opposed to some of the other lenses. Um, the, but the widest one is a 20 mil, as opposed to like the Super Speeds where the widest is an 18, so not quite as wide. Um, that's because these lenses are a little bit older. They're older than I think, I think every other lens here in the set. Uh, but that doesn't mean they're bad. They're actually really good. These were like the dominant lens in classic Hollywood times uh, for many, many, many classic uh, golden era Hollywood films. Our set of Super Baltars has been recently totally rebuilt and refurbished. They all now have uniform front diameters, um, new uh, PL mounts put on them. Their original mount on these lenses was, uh, was I believe, a Mitchell, BNC, B, a Mitchell BNCR mount, something, something like that, something funky, something that's not really used very much anymore. So anyway, they have brand new uh, PL mounts. They've recently been cleaned, collimated, new front diameters, and hard stops put in their focus rings. Uh, the focus on these used to be able to go all the way would be able to wind up to the end of the, the threads and bind up and would cause all kinds of problems. All that's gone. So they have nice modern style uh, operations, but you still have that classic um, super baltar, which is a little bit warm, a little bit, um, a little bit dreamy kind of look to it. Okay, so that's the three lenses we have here. We're gonna go and shoot some tests with them. We're gonna be shooting these tests on a red uh, Epic Dragon. We're gonna try to shoot 6K whenever possible. If a lens doesn't quite cover 6K, then we'll let you know and we'll dial it down to like a 6K HD or a 5K until it does cover. Um, we're gonna put still uh, full res still grabs of every single lens that we're testing up on our blog so you can, so you can download the full res high, uh, stills and really analyze the images if you really want to. Um, and we're gonna, do a variety, we're gonna do a variety of different tests as well. You're gonna see tests that are gonna check flares, 
uh, sharpness, um, lens, uh, uh, image circle coverage, so if you're going to try to put these on like a on a 6K camera or like a full frame camera. So uh, thanks for checking this out and uh, check out these tests.